What's up YouTube? This is Eric again with Holster Reviewer. Um, as you can see today we are looking at a little bit different kind of a holster than I have been reviewing in the past couple weeks. Today we're actually looking at a retention holster. This is actually an IMI Defense retention holster for my H&K P30. Um, so I did uh, want to show you that the gun was actually safety checked beforehand. So um, bear with me just a minute while I show everybody out there that this truly is safety checked. So um, with that being said, there, as you can see, there is nothing in the chamber. There's nothing in the magazine. You can look down the slide yourself. Obviously, as I've stated before, no bullets around to be seen. So with that being said, I will get started with the actual review here. Um, this is an IMI defense retention holster, um, actually out of Israel. Um, I requested this from them, oh, let's see, a little over two weeks ago. They got it to me in three days. I was blown away by how fast they got it to me. Obviously, it, it, the faster you request, the faster it's going to get to you, but um, they're great people over there. I've had nothing but a, a pleasurable experience with them, their customer service, any questions I've had about them they have been able to answer those questions for me. So with that being said, a um, couple things about this holster. It is made of uh, plastic all the way around. Extremely high quality plastic um, at that. Um, one of the main things with this particular holster that I really, really appreciate is the ease of use. Um, a lot of times you get holsters, they're kind of complicated as far as instructions go. With this particular one, all you have to use is an Allen wrench in order to exchange the different elements associated with it. I'll get to those in just a minute here. Um, as well as the cant on here. You can even mount this thing completely upside down if you want to. It does have 360 degrees of available um, placement on the actual retention holster itself. Um, I'll show you in just a little bit here how well it does hold the weapon. Um, but with that being said, um, I've just been absolutely pleased with this. I've been looking for a really good retention holster for quite some time, and this is really doing it for me. There's a lot of different kinds of retention holsters out there, some that don't use an actual retention device. Um, this particular one does have a spring-loaded, um, basically what it does is it locks your trigger guard into place. It will not move once it's in there. Sometimes there's wiggle room, things like that. With this holster, not at all. This is a very, very well-built holster. And like I said, I've been nothing but pleased with it. Um, so before I actually show you the weapon in the holster itself, I did want to talk about the different styles of um, basically applications you can do with it. Um, it does come with a belt. Um, basically, this is slide right on your belt. So it's just a belt option with it. Once again, as you can see, there are teeth around the edges there. Um, what that has to do with, and, and I'll, I'll pull this apart here in just a second, but um, you can, like I said, rotate it completely 360 degrees around. So if you want it facing that way, that way, that way, that way, doesn't matter. It, you can put it however you want. If you want to chest mount it, um, you can do that. So you can be able to draw from your chest. You can do that. If you want it from your side, if you like a little bit of cant on it, forward, backwards, whatever the case may be, this will allow that. This is the actual paddle portion of it. This slides right into your belt, um, just obviously at one stationary position. This is actually the one that it comes with. These two that you see here, these are um, optional, if you will, but um, I, obviously they're worth the money. If you're gonna spend it on a great holster like this, this is the way to go. So with that being said, um, let me pull this apart um, and let me show you the other one. Oh, before I forget here, I apologize. Um, this is actually a, what I call a drop um, version of the retention holster. Um, you'll be able to see it when I pull it apart here in just a second. It does have three different positions, a high, a low, and a medium that you can mount it on your side. So if you want it a little bit lower, you can do that. Um, once again, every single one of those positions does have um, the option to rotate it 360 degrees. Um, depending on the application that you want. If you want it in the dead center of your back, you can do that, whatever the case may be. So let me show you the different mounting options on this, um, but uh, let me show you that here in just a second. I will show you how the gun actually functions in here and how well it does lock um, right now, okay? So with that being said, I will place the firearm into the holster. As you can hear, you heard the click. That means it's not moving. Um, as you can see, nothing, you can't even hear it rattle around in there. That's how well it's in there. 
Um, I know a lot of law enforcement, military applications with this. Um, we can warrior like myself, obviously. This is just fun to have. Um, really no uh, function behind uh, doing that besides, you know, maybe a three gun competition, something to that effect. You don't want your gun bouncing around a whole lot. Heck, you might even be walking around in the, in the woods and, and don't want your gun to be moving around, but this is the way to go. This is a fantastic holster. Like I said before, I've been nothing but pleased with it. Um, been playing with it roughly about a week, week and a half now, and um, just have been absolutely thrilled with it. Um, IMI Defense out of Israel has just uh, really hit the nail right on the head with this thing. So, like I said before, ease of use puts your finger right in the safety position, is not going to be on the trigger, it's not going to be anything like that when you do draw. So, um, as you can see here, and I'm just obviously trying to cover serial numbers at this point, but you just place your finger down, slowly remove it out, or quickly, whatever you, whatever you want to do on that. Once your gun comes out, your finger naturally goes into the safe position. So, um, that's where your finger is. So once it's on your side, and I'll show you that here in just a second, physically on my body, this has just been just awesome. So it makes all the sense in the world to keep your finger away from the trigger, and that's what this is designed for. All right, guys, I did want to show you how easy this was to use. Um, obviously, you want to change your different applications um, with the holster itself, but at the same time, if you want to adjust the ride, especially on this one with three different level options, um, and at the same time adjust the cant. If you want to flip it over, you can do that. So what they do provide is an Allen wrench. This is a standard Allen wrench. Um, you can find any local hardware store. They do provide you with this. So not a, a difficult thing at all. Obviously, I like simple. I don't want things to be very complicated. They've done a very good job making this very, very easy to use. Um, there is a hole located here, like I said, with the retention device on there. Um, you would simply slide your Allen wrench through there, find the other side of the bolt, and at that point in time, you loosen it. Obviously, with this particular application, um, I take it right off, like I said before. There's three different ride options there. Um, a single one for the paddle holster, and then here is the belt loop. Um, so, like I said before, very easy to use. Let's say I wanted to move it over to this application, but I also wanted to mount it directly like this. Put it on there, tighten my bolt back down to where it needs to be. And voila, it is done. I don't have to worry about anything. This thing's not moving anywhere. It's the exact same device. Now, at the same time, obviously, if you had a vest on and you wanted to mount it this way, easy, easy, ease of use. I'm sorry, I can't talk today. Um, like I said before, draw and you're out, okay? Finger goes right there, keeps it out of harm's way, doesn't have your finger near the trigger at all. The retention on this is perfect. It's just a spring-loaded device that holds it in there. Um, I'll, I'll show you a, more of a close-up here in just a minute of how it actually does function, but like I said, very, very easy to use. I want to move it back over to my other application there. I can do that. Take it back over here. Let's say I really want to drop it down this time, but I want to put a little bit of a cans on it. I can do that. Voila, it's done. It's that easy. Belt clip, paddle holster. You want to drop it down, what I call the drop holster. You can do that. This one just simply slides through your belt loop. There's not a whole lot to this. Keep it simple. They don't need to make these things complicated. They've done a very good job at this. Um, one thing I forgot to mention before is how well this actually matches my gun. Obviously, the front end of it here does have serrations. easier to, you know, cock the slide. If they match it on here. And there's little things like that that really just make a whole lot of sense to me. I really appreciate little details like that. I am my defense. Make sure you go pick one of these up. Um, but at the same time, let me show you what this actually shows looks like on my body. All right, guys, did want to show you what this looked like physically on my body and at the same time different applications that you can use it with. So um, as you can see here, I am using the drop holster, which I had talked about before. Um, I like a little bit of a cant on my uh, weapon while I'm carrying it. Like I said, we can warrior stuff, you know, whether it's a three-gun competition. I'm just walking around the farm, whatever the case may be on that. Um, I did want the option to, you know, keep it as low as possible just because it feels good um, to me. I got a little bit longer of an arm. 
that just makes more sense for me. I don't I don't want it real high. I don't have to want to crank my elbow to get it. So this just makes sense for me. Like I said before, this thing's not moving around. I can dance around. I can jump up and down. This thing's not coming out of here. Most thing that moves is my belt. Obviously, that's me um, with my belt not being as tight as it should be. So with that being said, the gun's not moving out of here until I push the retention device on here. Once I press down on that, my finger remains in a safe position. It's not going anywhere. It's not near my trigger at all. It's not in the trigger, that which can be a huge issue for a lot of people. Keep it safe, and that's what this is designed to do. Like I said, when you do reholster it, there is obviously, like I said, there's a channel here. I forgot to mention that before, for the sights on here. You don't have to worry about jamming those in there. If you have custom sights, anything like that, this is designed for that. But when you do put it back in here, you will hear it physically click. It is not moving at this point, okay? So once it's clicked, once it's in there, it's not moving. I can do a handstand. This thing's not gonna fall out. Somebody can attempt to pull my weapon away from me. It's not going to go anywhere until I physically push that button. Like I said, my finger remains in a safe position. IMI Defense has done a very good job of keeping this. I like the audible click when I feel it. Obviously, sometimes you feel the click. I like the audible click. I like you know many different things that tell me this gun is in here, this gun is not moving. So let me show you the other options um, in just a second. All right guys, did want to show you the paddle option on this. Um, the way that I have it currently set up, it's on the outside. I understand it can go on the inside. It does have notches here um, for your belt loop. Obviously, if you want to leave it on the outside of your loop, you can do that. Um, otherwise, you can wear it on the inside of the pants. I am wearing shorts right now. I understand that. Um, but at the same time, this one, I've made more of a direct drop down. So, obviously, like I said before, draw the weapon. Keeps my finger out of harm's way. Extremely safe. Extremely easy to use. Once again, the audible click. That gun's not going anywhere. Okay. Um, another thing I did fail to mention, this is made of plastic. It's not going to scratch your weapon. There's no scratches to be found on my gun. Um, obviously, I do take very good care of my weapons, but at the same time, I don't want anything, any product, anything like that that's going to scratch it. This is plastic. It's not going to happen. So with the audible click, you can't hear the weapon sliding up and down in there. It's not going to go anywhere, but at the same time, it's not scratching my weapon as well. So let me show you the last option, then I'll do a final wrap up. All right, guys, I did want to show you the third and final option that was available to me, and this is the belt loop option. Um, fits most standard belts. It does have adjustments on there for a narrower belt or a wider belt, but once again, you can do 360 degrees. Even if it's not a belt and you want to do an application that's more up towards your chest, you could do that, obviously, to adjust the can. You know, going to the left, to the right, whatever the case may be. I do have a right-handed draw. They do make them with left-handed draws. Um, once again, same audible click. When you do put the gun back into the device, so you don't have to worry about it falling out. Um, once it's in there, like I said before, it's not going anywhere. So third and final option there. I will get back with you guys. We'll do a final wrap up here um, about this amazing device um, with IMI Defense. All right, guys, did want to do a quick wrap up for you on the IMI Defense Retention Holster. Did want to talk about cost real quick. This does cost you $39. It does include the pedal holster portion of it. If you do want the optional belt loop or what they call the low ride belt loop, these do cost you extra. This is $13 and this is $15 from their website, imidefense.com, as you can see below there. Go to their website, order one of these things, highly recommended, great people, great customer service, extremely fast shipping. If you wanted to get there in a hurry, you can make that happen. So out of Israel, um, it currently in use by the Israeli police force. I know the Israeli military as well, and we all know they don't use garbage. So this is great material, a mere bargain at $39. So go pick one of these up for each gun you got. Um, I, I would recommend doing that. Um, I'm definitely thinking about doing it for other weapons that I do have. So like the video below please subscribe i will get you plenty more holsters um, available in the meantime go pick one of these up imidefense.com if you guys have any questions contact me directly otherwise you guys have a fantastic day